Welcome to another deep dive, everybody. Today, we're going underground. Ooh. Well, not literally, but we are going to be taking a deep dive into the world of potato farming. Love it. Specifically, we'll be looking at a company called Farminot and all the cool ways they're using technology to, well, grow better potatoes. It's pretty amazing stuff. Like, did you know that they use satellite imagery and AI to help farmers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Let's yeah. back up a sec. I think before we jump into the high tech stuff, it might be helpful to understand, like, the basics of potato farming. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're right. So, like, imagine you're a potato farmer. Okay, I'm a potato farmer. What's the first thing you need to figure out? Uh, what kind of potatoes to grow? Exactly. And there are literally hundreds of varieties out there. Hundreds? Wow. Yeah. Some are better for baking, others for frying, you know, french fries. And then there are varieties that are specifically for processing into things like chips or starch. So it's not just a one potato fits all situation. Definitely not. You got to consider things like the growing season, the climate, your soil, uh, even what you plan to do with the potatoes once you've harvested them. So like russet Burbank potatoes, those are the classic baking potatoes. They're great for french fries. Mm -hmm. But... I guess they might not grow well everywhere, huh? Exactly. It's all about finding the right potato for the right environment. That makes sense. Okay, so I've got my potato variety picked out. I've planted my fields. Now what? Well, now you got to think about pests and diseases. Oh, right, right. Whoa. Like bugs and stuff. Yeah. Like you've got the Colorado potato beetle, which honestly, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. It does. But they're a real threat to potato crops. Yeah. And then there are diseases, things like Late blight. Late blight. That sounds serious. It is. It was actually responsible for the Irish potato famine back in the 1840s. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. So managing those pests and diseases is a huge challenge for farmers. So how do they do it? How do they fight those things off? Traditionally, they've used pesticides and fungicides. But those chemicals can have a big impact on the environment. And over time, pests can build up a resistance to them so they become less effective. So it's like a constant battle trying to stay one step ahead of the bugs and the diseases. Yeah. And I'm guessing there are other challenges too. Oh yeah, for sure. Like maintaining the right soil conditions, making sure the soil has the right nutrients and moisture and pH level for the potatoes to grow. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's not just about the potatoes themselves. It's about creating the right environment for them to thrive. Exactly. And then there's water, especially in places where there's not a lot of rainfall. Farmers need to figure out how to use water efficiently. It sounds like there's a lot to keep track of. There is. And that's where technology like Farminot comes in. They're trying to give farmers the information and the tools they need to make better decisions so they can grow better potatoes. Okay, so tell me more about that. How does Farminot actually help farmers? Well, one of the coolest things they do is this thing called satellite-based crop health monitoring. Satellite-based? Like, from space. Yeah. It's like having a constant eye in the sky watching over your fields. How does that even work? So they have these satellites with special sensors that can take pictures of the fields. And these aren't your average photographs. These sensors can pick up on really subtle variations in light that we can't even see with our eyes. So they can see things that would be invisible to us. Yeah. By looking at the different wavelengths of light that are being reflected off the plants, they can tell if the plants are stressed or if they're not getting enough nutrients. They can even spot the early signs of diseases. Wow. So even before a farmer might notice something's wrong just by looking at their plants. Exactly. And that early detection is so important because if you catch a problem early on, you can take steps to fix it before it spreads and causes a lot of damage. That makes a lot of sense. It's like an early warning system. It is. It gives farmers time to react and take action before it's too late. This is really cool. It's amazing how technology is being used to help farmers understand their crops on such a deep level. Right. It's like giving them x-ray vision for their fields. So they've got these satellites keeping an eye on things. What else does Farminot do? So once they have all this data from the satellites, they use artificial intelligence to analyze it. Okay, so they're using AI to make sense of all the information. Yeah, and their AI system, it's called Jeevan AI, it can actually give farmers personalized recommendations. Like what kind of recommendations? Well, like when's the best time to plant based on the weather and the soil conditions. Hmm or how much water they should be using to irrigate their crops. It can even tell them what kind of fertilizer they should be using and how much. So it's like having a super smart farming assistant. Exactly, and it's all powered by AI. It's blowing my mind. So Farminot is looking at everything. They're helping farmers choose the right potatoes. They're helping them manage pests and diseases. They're helping them keep their soil healthy. And it's all powered by cutting edge technology. Yeah. 
They're really taking a holistic approach to potato farming. That's incredible. So much goes into growing those potatoes that end up on our plates. You know, and we haven't even talked about what happens after the potatoes are harvested. There's a whole other world of possibilities there. Whoa, hold on, hold on. You're telling me there's more. Oh, yeah. We've only just scratched the surface. <sighs> All right, everyone. We're going to have to take a quick break. We'll be right back to continue our potato journey with Pharmanaut. Don't go anywhere. I'm definitely staying tuned. Welcome back. So are you ready to dig a little deeper into the world of potato farming? Oh, absolutely. I'm hooked. Right. Last we left off, you were telling me about these satellites that can basically diagnose a potato plant from space. It's pretty wild, right? Yeah, it's like something out of a sci-fi movie. So, like, remember late blight, that disease that caused the Irish potato famine? Mm -hmm. Well, with these satellites, Pharmanaut can actually see signs of late blight in the plants way before a human could ever spot it. Well, really? Yeah. Like, the plants start to reflect light differently when they're infected, and the satellite sensors can pick up on that. So it's not just like looking at a picture of a plant. It's more like analyzing the light itself. Exactly. And because they can catch it so early, the farmer can deal with the problem before it gets out of control. That's got to be a huge relief for farmers. Oh, totally. It means they don't have to spray as many pesticides and fungicides, mm. which is good for the environment and it saves them money too. Yeah. Win-win. So it's not just about seeing what's happening. It's about understanding why it's happening. Right. It's about getting that deeper level of insight. So we talked about late blight, but what about pests? Can these satellites spot those too? Yep. Take the Colorado potato beetle. I mean, come on, that name alone. It's like a villain from a comic book. I know, right? But seriously, those little guys can wreak havoc on a potato crop. So how does Pharmanaut help with that? So their system can pinpoint exactly where in the field the beetles are concentrated. Okay. And then the farmer can target their pesticide application to just those areas. Oh, smart. So they're not just spraying the whole field unnecessarily. Nope. They can really focus their efforts, which again, better for the environment, and it helps prevent the beetles from becoming resistant to the pesticides. Wow, this is incredible. It's like Pharmanaut is giving farmers a whole new set of superpowers. Uh, yeah, kinda. So they're seeing the big picture from space, but they're also helping farmers with the really nitty gritty stuff too. Totally, like soil management. Oh, right, we were talking about that earlier. How do they help with that? They have these sensors that go right into the soil and they can measure things like moisture, nutrient levels, even the temperature. Wow, so they really have their finger on the pulse, huh? Yep, and all that data helps the farmer make sure the soil is in tip-top shape for growing potatoes. Like knowing exactly when to water so they're not wasting water or drowning the plants. Exactly. It's all about finding that sweet spot. This is seriously impressive. So they're helping farmers choose the right potatoes. They're helping them manage pests and diseases. They're helping them keep their soil healthy. Is there anything they don't do? Well, they're also looking to the future. You know, they've got these weather forecasting and pest prediction models that can help farmers anticipate challenges. Whoa, hold on. They can predict the future. Well, sort of. Like, if the system predicts there's going to be a lot of rain and humidity, which is perfect conditions for a late blight, mm -hmm. the farmer knows to take steps to protect their crops before the disease even has a chance to take hold. So it's all about being proactive, not just reactive. Exactly. It's like they're giving farmers a crystal ball. That's incredible. And it, that's especially important with climate change and the weather becoming more unpredictable. Oh, absolutely. This technology can really help farmers adapt and become more resilient. This is blowing my mind. Technology is really changing the game for potato farmers. It is. And, you know, we haven't even talked about the possibilities after the harvest. Like, what if farmers could do more with their potatoes than just sell them as is? Okay, now you've got me intrigued. What are you talking about? I'm talking about value-added opportunities. Imagine turning those potatoes into delicious potato chips or french fries, mm -hmm. or even specialty flours and starches. Ooh, now you're making me hungry. Me too. But seriously, Pharmanaut is helping farmers explore those possibilities and find new ways to add value to their crops. Okay, this is definitely a conversation we need to continue. But first, a quick word from our sponsors. We'll be right back to explore the exciting world of value-added potato products. All right, welcome back. I am ready to hear more about these... Uh, Value-added potato opportunities. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So remind me, what exactly does that mean? Value-added, what is that? Basically, it means, like, instead of just selling plain old potatoes, farmers can turn them into, you know, something more, something special. Yeah, give me some examples. Think potato chips. 
or french fries, maybe even fancy potato flours or starches. Ooh, yeah, I like where this is going. Right, so instead of just selling the raw ingredient, they're creating a product that has, you know, more value. So I'm a potato farmer. How does Farmer not help me with this? Well, for one thing, they can help you figure out which potato varieties are best suited for, like, specific products. Oh, okay. So it's back to choosing the right potato for the job. Exactly. Like, if you want to make the absolute best, crispiest potato chips, Pharmanaut can tell you which potato variety is going to give you that perfect chip. And I guess it's not just about the variety, right? It's also about how you grow the potatoes. You got it. Like, let's say a chip company wants potatoes with a really high dry matter content. Pharmanaut can help you tweak your growing practices to make sure your potatoes hit that target. So they're helping farmers get their potatoes ready for prime time, ready to be turned into something amazing. Exactly. And that can open up a whole new world of possibilities for farmers. Yeah. New markets, new customers, new ways to make money. This is so cool. It's like taking this humble little potato and turning it into like a culinary superstar. Yeah. And Pharmanaut's got this really interesting tool that helps with all of this. It's a blockchain-based traceability system. Okay, blockchain. That's another one of those words I hear all the time, but I'm not always sure I understand what it means. Basically, it's like a digital record that tracks the potato's entire journey, from the moment it's planted in the field all the way to, like, when it ends up in a bag of chips on the grocery store shelf. So it's like a potato passport. Uh-huh. Yeah, kind of. And every step of the way is recorded and verified, so you know exactly where that potato came from and how it was grown. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So if I'm buying, like a bag of Pharmanaut potato chips, I could scan a code and see exactly which farm those potatoes came from. Exactly. And it tells you all sorts of stuff like, you know, what kind of farming practices were used? Was it sustainable? Were any pesticides used? You know, stuff like that. That's so cool. So it's about transparency for the consumer, but it also helps the farmer, right? Well, yeah. It helps them tell their story, you know, show off their high quality, sustainable practices. And that can translate into higher prices for their products. Wow. So everyone wins. Exactly. It's about connecting consumers with the people who grow their food and making sure everyone benefits. This whole conversation has been incredibly eye-opening. I never realized how much went into growing a potato. It's more than just chucking some spuds in the ground, that's for sure. Farmanaut is doing some seriously impressive stuff. They're not just helping farmers grow better potatoes. They're helping them create a better future for themselves and for the planet. It's truly inspiring stuff. I think we all need to give a little more thought to where our food comes from and all the work that goes into getting it to our tables. I agree. Well, on that note, I think it's time for us to wrap up this deep dive into the world of potato farming. I gotta say, I'm feeling a little bit hungry now. Me too. Time for some french fries. And maybe some potato chips. Big thanks to Pharmanaut for the incredible work they're doing. If you want to learn more about them, check out their website, download their app, all that good stuff. It's definitely worth checking out. And to all of you listening, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep digging deeper into the world around you.